I'm Roger Twybell, and I'd like to introduce you to the benefits of acceleration training on power plate for the golf. It takes just a few minutes of power plate training to help improve strength, flexibility, and balance, all while reducing pain. As the vibrating surface of the power plate moves beneath you, instability is created. Your body responds to this instability by immediately switching on its natural balance mechanism. As golfers, I think we can all appreciate how important it is to have good balance during a golf swing. Now, these same vibrations which improve your balance create a reflexive muscle contraction, resulting in immediate increases in circulation. The circulation warms the tissue, resulting in better mobility, range of motion, and decreased pain. PGA teaching professionals, swing coaches, and tour players are using Power Plate's acceleration training to optimize their golf performance and fitness. Sean Cochran has been training professional athletes in baseball, martial arts, and golf for many years. And in a minute, we're going to show you an example of a perfect golf warm-up. Thanks, Roger. I'm really excited by the changes I've seen in my athletes who use power play. I'm seeing dramatic improvements in weight loss, flexibility, balance, strength, and power. Maybe equally important is recovery after play. Power Plate provides an amazing massage after golf to push out toxins, relax tired muscles, and help you feel better tomorrow. Let's start with what you do before you play. Earlier Roger mentioned a quick golf warm-up. Ideally a warm-up is more than just stretching. It involves actively getting the body and the brain ready for golf. The best time to improve your game may be the five minutes before you play. Set the machine at a frequency of 30 hertz and low amplitude for 30 seconds per exercise. Be sure to drink adequate amounts of water whenever you are exercising on the power plate. Since these are warm-up exercises, there is no need to rest between each exercise. Keep your knees slightly bent and your weight slightly forward. Now our first exercise is the two-legged hamstring stretch. So what I'd like you to do is I want you to turn on the machine and I want you to grasp both handles lightly. Now from this position, I want you to slightly bend the knees and bend the hips. Hold this position and feel a stretch in the hamstrings and possibly the lower back. Why are the hamstrings important to the golf swing? Simply because if I have tight hamstrings, the ability to get in the correct address position as well as make a full shoulder turn will be limited. Now our second exercise is the piriformis stretch. To begin, Press the repeat button, and what I want you to do is I want you to take your right foot, place it across the left knee. Now from this position, I want you to sit down with your hips like you're sitting in a chair. You're going to hold this for 30 seconds and then repeat it with the opposite leg. Now this is a great stretch to improve external rotation in the hip. External rotation is important for the golf swing as a result of coming into impact and follow through. Limited external rotation in the hip is going to cause difficulties in your golf swing. Our third exercise is the hip flexor stretch with arm reach. Begin by again hitting the repeat button. And I want you to set yourself in a lunge position with the right foot on top of the plate. I want you to bend slightly with both knees until you feel a stretch in that right hip. Now from this position I want you to raise your club straight overhead, arm straight, elbow straight. Hold this position for 30 seconds, and we're going to repeat with the opposite leg. Again, this is a great exercise to stretch the anterior side of the hip. And what we know in regards to the golf swing is you must have mobility in both hips to execute each phase of the golf swing efficiently. Now our fourth exercise is the lunge position rotation. Again, press the repeat button on the plate and place your left foot on top of the plate and set your lower body in the proper lunge position by bending both knees. Extend the arms straight and begin rotating your torso and shoulders to your left and back to your right. Continue to do so for 30 seconds and repeat with the opposite foot on top of the plate. What we're looking to do here is create rotational aspects in your torso and shoulder complex. Now again, what we're focusing on is torso rotation. This is going to improve the shoulder turn in your golf swing. Now our last exercise is stork turns. Again, press the repeat button on the plate and I want you to take your right foot and hook it behind your left as you grab both handles. 
Now what I want you to do is I want you to rotate the knee left and right in a rapid manner, keeping your torso and shoulders stable. And do so for 30 seconds and repeat the exercise with the opposite leg. Now what we're doing here is actually really creating a lot of dynamic mobility in your shoulder and torso complex before you go to the range or hit the first tee. Well, I hope you can see how a power play workout can and will improve your golf starting the first time you use it. And then after a few weeks, you'll notice improved strength, better posture, and ultimately a more powerful swing with less pain. Remember to keep your knees slightly bent, remember to drink water frequently while exercising, and above all, remember to have fun with these workouts. For Power Plate, I'm Roger Twilow.